Chester Moore, executive editor of Texas Fish and Game Magazine here at the 2010 ICAST show in Las Vegas with Mr. Crappie. Well, hey, how you doing, buddy? Here at Bullet Ways. Doing great, man. We're getting to talk crappie, so I'm excited because I love crappie. I'm known as a flounder guy. Right. I'm called the flounder king. But crappie are really my favorite fish to catch. Well, I heard flounder's fresh uh, saltwater crappie. <laughs> yeah, we can trade some secrets. Sometime, <laughs> We're going to trade some secrets. Well, tell us what you got here on these rigs. This is really kind of an interesting looking thing because a lot of guys are really getting into trolling, strolling, and catching those crappie. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, trolling has been really famous for many years for yes, a technique of crappie fishing, especially it started out east, you know, mm -hmm. in the Carolinas and the North Carolinas and down in Florida, et cetera, because you have large bodies of water yes, with not a lot of timber and a lot of structure in it, and so by using multiple rods, you can cover more area, et cetera. Well, this year I've had the opportunity of hooking up with the Bullet Weight Company. Yes, sir. Uh, that's an awesome company, and I'm just going to say that a new weight that I've come up with and my ideas about trolling is coming up with a torpedo weight with the double swivel. The double swivel allows no line twist whatsoever. It's quick to tie on, especially when you're running a double jig rig. You've got a jig on there. You come down about 12 inches and you've got the uh, uh, double swivel torpedo or egg sinker. We've got it in, and you notice that's fluorescent orange. Yes, sir. We also have it in uh, fluorescent chartreuse. What the would be advantage of one or the other? Well, the orange is for the stained, heavier water. Yes, it sir. actually, these colors moving through the water will attract crappie. Nice. They will come to the bait. And so you've got the weight there. You've got your jig down below. And a lot of guys like to take this jig right here and tip it with a small minnow. Mm -hmm. And so you have this bait moving through the water anywhere from a quarter mile an hour up to three quarters mile an hour. Mm -hmm. And uh, by having this uh, double swivel weight on there, line twist kills you, sure. especially when you're trolling. Uh, new product and bass fishermen beware. Maximize your time on the water. Exactly. All right. Actually what we have here, Chester, is uh, uh, this is what we're doing today, the way we go up. We didn't have the double swivel, yes, and so we just got the regular torpedo weight that slides up and down your line. And if you'll notice right below the weight there, I have an inline swivel, yes, sir. which prevents line twist also, mm -hmm. and the weight's right there above it. And notice this year we've got colored torpedo weights mm -hmm. in crappie colors, fluorescent orange and fluorescent yellow chartreuse. This is a jig and mina rig. You'll notice down here below, about 12 inches below my swivel, I have a number two Mr. Crappie hook. Then above there, I've got a little hair jig that I can actually put a minnow on it, put a minnow down here. And depending on how fast you're going to troll determines the weight. We've got these weights anywhere from quarter ounce up to one ounce. Wow, wow. So we've got the complete range of sinkers for all types of crappie fishing. No matter what kind of depth you're going for, you got the right application. That's right. And when you take off trolling, see, your your baits are going to be back here because yes, the movement, and also when I'm not in heavy, if I'm in heavy timber, I like to tie my weights close to the line. Mm -hmm. If I get out in open water, I'll make that a staging to where it'll be six to eight inches long. Yes, so when you take off, it's back here and has a lot of action. That's called the... Uh, Jig and minnow rig right there with a torpedo weight right there and it uses that swivel to make that stop. 